Hey guys, look what here, and welcome to Let's Play Freddy Fish and the Case of the Missing Kelp Seeds. This is a. Uh... Thanks for getting the flowers, Sam. Well, the cutscenes. I'll, I'll let the character That's speak. Beautiful flowers. Bye, Freddy. Whoa. Wasn't there also um like a seagull character in the Little Mermaid? It reminds me of that. Freddy Fish and the case of the milk missing kelp seeds. This is another humongous entertainment adventure game along the lines of you know Spy Fox, Putt Putt, Pajama Sam. <laughs> Bye. Bye. What a lovely com community under the sea. Hi, Grandma Grouper. Here's a flower for you. Thank you, Freddy. What's wrong, Grandma Grouper? Someone took my treasure chest. Grandma, your treasure chest that holds all the kelp seeds. Yes, Freddy. Look at the garden. Oh boy. It's dying. <laughs> oh man, that's until we find my treasure chest, we have no food. That's graphic. I'll find your treasure chest, Grandma Grouper. Oh, thank you, Freddy. Here's my last peanut butter and jellyfish sandwich for your journey. I get it. Good luck, Freddy. Don't worry, Grandma Grouper. I'll find your kelp seeds. Looks like what, like, like that's um, I don't know, like six years. Like this game came out in I think 1994, so that's like six years for a uh, or so before SpongeBob did their whole weird uh, s s Krabby Patty with jellyfish jelly. It's Grandma's last peanut butter and jellyfish sandwich. All right, so here, here we are, folks. Um, the basic gist of the game is, you know, we are a little fresh, a little. Little fish named Freddy, who I believe. I always got the impression that Freddy is female, but I'm not entirely sure. I might, she might just, might just be like a, a boy with a high voice. The fact that it's a Freddy with an without the E for for me tips me off that it's female, but I, I'm not entirely sure. They, they they might like reference that at some point, but um. It's a beautiful day under the sea. Why will be referring to her as she and whatnot? Um. Yeah, here we have, um, you know, it's basically like any other human kind entertainment game. You have like items that go at the bottom here and kind of explore around and talk to people and explore and solve mysteries. And here we have quite the disaster that basically our grandma, grandma grouper's kelp seeds have been stolen, which means that the village, the community has not, nothing to eat, which, uh, Ooh. Hello, Freddy. Hello. I'm so worried about the kelp. We'll find them for you. I'm going to search for your kelp seeds, Grandma Grouper. Good luck, Freddy. Goodbye, Grandma Grouper. I believe a grouper. I believe like a grouper fish is like. I think that there there is a type of fish called like a grouper. So I think that's like that's the the reference there. Honestly, I'm not really sure if I played this this particular game too much. I've definitely played some of the old, other Freddy Fish games quite a bit, but um, I, I think Freddy Fish has like four or five games. Like there were quite a quite a few. Um, but this one here, this, this first one, I'm not sure if I really mess around with too much. So let's um, let's get going. Don't give up, Luther. <laughs> it's easy. Wow. Let me try again. Freddy said practice. Oh. Ooh, look at that. Look, Luther, a bottle. And there's a note inside. What? It says to find Grandma Grouper's treasure chest, go near the beach. I'm gonna be rich when I find that treasure. 
We need to find Grandma Grouper's treasure chest because that's where the kelp seeds are. If we don't find them soon, all the fish are going to die. That's pretty. That's, that, is, that is very deep, you know, for a kids game. Like when you compare, you know, Spy Fox. You know, the plot of Spy Fox was freaking. You know, all the world's milk will be turned into goat milk or whatever. Like, uh, it's very, very heavy plot. But here we have, um, we've uh, teamed up with Luther, who was our little sidekick. Um, it's one of the things that's kind of unique about the Freddy Fish games is that you kind of play as two characters. You know, there's Freddy and Luther. I remember as a child, I never really understood, I, like, the name Luther isn't really a, a common name. And so at the time, I always, as a child, I always thought it was like Looser or something. I never really understood, like, like paid together that it was, um... Like it was, I, th I, always th I thought it was either looser or like loofer with an F or something. I never really, really know because I, I wasn't really playing with subtitles back then. And so here we have a, a little bottles that tell us where to go. And um, here we have a little element that's kind of unique to the Freddy Fish games. These purple sea urchins, which basically act as currency almost. Like um, there will be certain areas that like a character mult will give you something in exchange for some purple sea urchins. I have one purple sea urchin. And I remember this, another another like little language fact was like, you know, I never when I first played this game, I never heard of what what the heck a sea, sea urchin was. And so instead of like hearing it as sea urchin, even to this day, I sort of when I see when I hear someone say sea, sea urchin, I always think of it as like sea urchin. That's a sea urchin. Like uh, I never really, I never really understood at the time. So we, uh, we can go left or right. Let's go left. I mean, then we have another left and right. And you know, this is um, of all the games that I played so far, I'm pretty. Sure this is the oldest one. I'm pretty sure this came out in 1994, but still, still got the whole. All the good. Your monks entertainment. Click on stuff. I have little silly animations. I'm not sure if um at this point I'm not sure if like they were doing the whole. I hope we find Grandma Grouper's kelp treasure soon. I'm not sure if they were doing the whole like multiple scenarios and whatnot. The volcano is this way. We're going. To, we're, we're trying to get to the beach. Look at that. Another. Even if, um, you know, even if we're not going the right way to the beach or whatever, you know, we're still finding new things and just kind of getting a... Alright. So here, yeah, like I said, like... These purple sea urchins are sort of like your little, not necessarily currency here, but just like little ways of getting your progress. Hey. So we'll need to get some more sea urchins. So we can go, we can go all the way. Wait, so where we come from? Now they go. We're gonna go down. I'm assuming that the, this up arrow, I'm assuming that this and this are the same thing. Where, we, where do we come from exactly? The is this way. Oh, man, this, there's, there's a lot of... Oh, okay, so that, that's where we came from. Okay. So let's head back. Let's head to the... Upper left. Well, it's a uh, very creepy. Ah! <laughs> no one gets past Eddie the eel. But we're looking for Grandma Grouper's kelp treasure. If we don't find it soon, all the fish are gonna die. And that includes you, Eddie. Oh, I've heard that one before. Look, kids, why don't you just get out of here before I have to eat you? Hey, buddy. That's not very nice of you, man. Uh-uh. You're not getting past me. 
You're not getting by Eddie the Eel. Can I give him a sandwich? Oh. Grouper's famous peanut butter and jellyfish sandwich. I guess I could let you get past. No problem, buddy. Good luck finding Grandma Grouper's kelp treasure. Nice. You know, if, it, if anyone's giving you trouble, kids, just like give them a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. That'll, that'll win, their, win their heart, win their soul. I guess we explore all these uh, little holes, the eyes and nose. Oh, that's dark. Oh, it's too dark. I'm scared, Freddy. We need to find something that glows. No, I can't see. It's too dark to see. Anything. There's like a little ducky here, some sort of crab or something. But the game is not gonna let us do anything here. I imagine all these things are gonna be dark. Yep. Quickly try the middle. Yep, so everything's I'm <laughs> Luther. And hopefully by the end of the game Luther will be a little bit more confident, brave, and whatnot. Let's head down. It's probably be very dark as well. M maybe not. Oscar the Grouch. But yeah, I used to, you know, I've uh, talked about this before in other videos, but, you know, I used to just play these games so much, like, honestly, I kind of am kind of feel bad that, um, in recent years, I really haven't played that many, like, point and click adventures, like, in quite a while. Like, uh, every now and then, I might, like, play uh, something like Machinarium or whatever it was. Um,. And, and uh, enjoy I, and I enjoy them, but um, for me, I think a big thing that killed adventure games like this for me was um, podcasts. Because um, eventually, like around like 2009, 2010, is when I started. You know, a lot of my gaming started to. You know, I used to like pl play, like listen to podcasts while gaming, and games with a lot of like text and whatnot, like get, like. Point and click like point and clicks like this just aren't really good podcast games, and so I almost blame podcasts for my not really getting too much into these point and clicks in recent years. We found a purple sea urchin. Nice. Are you alive? Hello. Then that's no starfy. Mr. Star yeah, Starfish. For today. Welcome to class. I didn't sign up for any class. How hard do you want the questions to be? Let's give them, let's give them some advanced. advanced. Let's see, let's see what, their, what their idea of advanced is. How much is 60 6 <laughs> 20 Enemy man at 12 kilometers. Um, I'll be 86. 80. I almost, I'm almost i very curious to see what... You're right. Yay! 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 Let's do another Clap, clap, clap. Well, let's do... What is the sum of 40, 4, and 18? 44 plus 18, that is... That's a little bit... Okay, let's... That'd be sixty-two. Two. That's correct. Now let's try another. Good job, children. What is the difference between seventy three and eleven? That would be sixty-two. Yes. Sixty-two. That's correct. Yay! 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 I don't think. Now try this one. Okay, let me probably stop what? here. I don't think there's really 
Doesn't seem that he's actually gonna, gonna give us anything. I'm very curious to see what the, what the very easy questions are like. I'm Mr. Starfish. Your math teacher for today. Welcome to class. How hard do you want the questions to be? Easy. Let's do some easy problems. I'm really curious what this is gonna be. How oh, what? Oh, that's, that's, that's cute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. That's, uh, that's, that's clever. Correct. Like, instead of like it just being easy problem, but it's just like One. it's just actually straight up, you know, One, counting. Now te te teaching how to count and whatnot. How many starfish are there? Four. True, true question, buddy. Correct. True question. Could, could be five. Let's do another problem. How many That's a... <laughs> See you later, starfish, buddy. Hopefully... I'm not sure. Do starfish eat kelp? Or whatever? Wait, even if we die, you may live on. Why don't you like read the sign before you actually go? Oh, hello. Look, dog fish. Don't wanna wake him up. <laughs> I don't wanna wake him up, so I just like mess with all the stuff that just makes a lot, of no a lot of noise. Oh. I guess we can get past him. If we had a bone, we could give it to the dog. It's uh, very specific. I suppose um, you know, a like a, a bone would is pretty. Ooh, that could work. So let's go looking for a bone. Got a bone, starfish. Starfish are like really interesting creatures. Like you kind of just like always. I feel like the, the, like most people's images of them are like if they just kind of like sit, lay around like that all the like for, forever, but. You can actually, like, if you look up videos of, like, starfish moving, they, they actually do, like, move on their own, and it's... They, it's like this weird sort of suction, like, like they, it's, it's, it's real weird, it's, it's real crazy. The bottle ain't here, boss. Maybe somebody else found the voice. <laughs> Maybe somebody else found it first. Of course someone else found it first, you spongehead! Come on, we gotta find that bottle! Oh, we're shark bait! But boys, we are sharks! And the brains of the operation. Alright, so we have- that's where we came from, so... What is that? Like some sort of sur surfboard? Or? Well, literally, it's like a, a boat or oh, it's like a bath or like a sunken bathtub. What does that say? Let's see. Hell? What? It's a crown. Oh my gosh. There's ought to have been some sort, of, some sort of accident or somebody dropped their stuff out of a boat. Awkward, ma'am. Oh. oh, it's getting very badly. I'm giving Ooh. it all I got, Captain. Ooh. Hey, sorry, Luther. Don't mention it. It could have went very, very worse. Gabby, my little guppy is stuck inside that cave, but I can't fit inside. Could you please find him? All right. Yes, Mrs. We'll help Gabby. Whereas, like, as a child, like you never would have like realized that like, these names are actually like, names of fish. You know, conch shell. Freddy, Luther, I'm stuck under this rock. Please help me. Ah. 
I'm stuck. What are we going to do? Don't worry, Gabby. We just need to find a bigger board to pry the rock off your fin. That's a that's real messed up. Like, uh, hopefully, it was a little fish, so. That will. I wonder how that'll. Uh, come in handy. No, I guess Gabby felt like he's pretty small, so. Did you find my guppy? Yes, Mrs. Halibut. Gabby's stuck, but he's okay. Oh, thank goodness. Probably shouldn't be trying to struggle too much because I might mess that little fin of his. Up real bad. Ooh. I mean, so many directions. I also found a purple sea urchin. So you can probably go and put these on that uh, little. On, on that bucket. Go to the deep canyon. We found another clue to the kelp treasure, Luther. Yeah, we. Ooh. I could use that to save the, save the poor, the poor guppy lad. So we had previously gone to the um, deep canyon before, but I don't think there was anything there. So hopefully, maybe, maybe like something's triggered now. Uh, gee, boys, the kelp treasure ain't here. I don't know why you hid all those bottles. I put clues in the bottle so I could find my way back to where I hid the kelp treasure. Well, if you can't find that treasure chest, you're gonna have to answer to the squid father. Please, boss! Not the squid father! I'll clam up, spongehead! What? Oh, man. Hopefully they can breathe for long peri periods of time. Fiddler Crab, what's wrong? Oh me oh my, oh me oh my. How did I get in this cage? I must get out of this cage. Please help me get out. And I'll give you my fishing pole. Sing the blues, old man. Fiddler Crab, what's wrong? I would gladly give you my fishing pole if you could please get me out of this cage. We need some sort of key by the looks of it. <laughs> While he's uh, <laughs> with no help for this fella. You know, I don't know anybody. Like, like that's that shovel could come in handy, but what the heck. Okay, then, so let's... Continue on. Like, sometimes, like, items that look like they might be uh, be useful, like, actually just, like... Oh, this must be, like, a minigame or something. You have three buckets of jellyfish to feed the animals. I'll toss the jellyfish to the hungry animals, and you can keep track, Luther. Ready to go? It's feeding time! Nice. Like all these little humongous, humongous games usually have like some sort of like little mini game like this. Like, oh, Spy Fox just had like a mini game you could just play at any time. Look at that one take off. Like Pajama Sam. Oh, Pajama Sam. Um, like the one that I recently played. No need to hide when it's dark outside. It had that. You had to like access it from a certain area. We can leave when the arrow flashes. Let's feed some more animals, Luther. Um, Those turtles look hungry. Hmm. Let's do one more. Uh, I'm not really sure if this really, you know, does anything. What? What? The, what did it say that we we're feeding them? Hopefully, this is not, you know, wasting. Or I guess it was like, you know, they're 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 eating. Like we are. You know, feeding them, feeding hungry creatures that need food, so it's not, not a waste. Great, Freddy. You fed them all. That was fun, Freddy.
Daddy, it sure was, but we better continue our search for Grandma Grouper's kelp seeds. Nice one. Okay there, Luther. Let's uh, head back down. Let's keep in mind that we need a, some sort of key or something to save old man, old fiddler crab. But I'm going to call the video there, folks, and next time we'll continue on and um, we'll save the guppy, Gabby, and we'll... We, will, we got quite, quite the itinerary. We've got save the guppy, put these two sea urchins in the bucket, and also go to the deep canyon to uh. It said to find Grandma Grouper's treasure chest. Go to the, deep, to the deep canyon to see what this uh, bottle is talking about. But uh, till next time, folks. That's been let's play Freddy Fish. Uh, that's been some let's play Freddy Fish in the case of the missing kelp seeds. Till next time, liquid out.